Das ist das Titan Quest für Consoles. Top Secret! and the BFG team is ready to rock the year. We want to deliver a patch this week. We have to get the whole team back into full steam power. So uh, I start with getting my Buddha bread for breakfast and then we'll rock on. Yeah. yeah, got some feedback. Let's take a look uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> where we are. That yeah, looks like our uh, our New Year's message was uh, received. Well, yeah, it was well received. Okay. Yeah, Happy New Year. Yeah. Poor snow is because snow is from Painkiller. Yeah, hi Painkiller. <laughs> uh, oh man, Sergeant Torshammer happy FPS drops in next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, so at least we have a very, very active community. Yeah, they um, us in the reviews as well. So what this uh, what do we have planned uh, marketing wise? We planned a lot. Um, we have some influencer marketing. On, in the pipeline, we have um, more videos. The, the new content update is coming up. We have planned a lot, but thing is, is as long as um, the performance is as it is, um, everything will. We run into the wall with everything, so. So our review currently is mixed, and that's yeah. a big issue. And it is. all the negative reviews are all about the performance. <laughs> That's right, bugs and performance. So we can do anything we want, but we we can't tell people how great the game is. And uh, on the one hand, and then they can't play it. Okay, <laughs> so we need to get this fixed. To get this fixed, then. let's do it. We have a big, big issue with uh, this performance and uh, the reviews we got due to this yeah. uh, and uh, I really I'm not not sure if everyone everyone in the team is uh, aware how damn important this is I totally agree yeah, yeah. that's uh, we have to make uh, make them clear that it's highest priority to fix those issues yeah so for now for now the community is still still very positive yeah um, but if we don't do anything, yeah, we had this two weeks downtime. We are now already half in the week. If we are not showing the community that we are that we are eager to fix the stuff, yeah, and that something is happening, yeah, yeah um, this will turn into negative. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We have to make hardcore fans out of the base we have now, yeah. and we only reach this if we fix the issues. Yeah, yeah, and that's something that, that everyone in the team needs. Uh, needs to have uh, from the bottom of his heart yeah yeah absolutely let's call the guys together and really bring it in their minds that everyone has the same understanding yeah that is just a question talking about uh, performance problems and uh, and uh, um, testing we did and why though we did a lot of testing mm -hmm. we still had uh, for quite some people performance problems yeah. okay that has several reasons um, on the one hand um, it's early access um, so we didn't have the typical uh, amount of time before and to just polish and bug fix and do the optimization also we haven't done the final optimization run simply because it's not the final launch so that's something you do at the end when everything is in um, we did some hardware testing uh, externally. Mm -hmm. um, we also got some feedback with some problems, but we did underestimate uh, how much it impacted the overall community. Mm -hmm. From the feedback we got, we thought it was rare cases, 
Uh, it was more often than anticipated. Um, yeah, and in-house, we I mean, we have standardized computers. We don't have a hardware testing in-house. Um, so we so actually, have, yeah, I was playing the game before the launch and I had no problems on my it's machine. A, it's the same with my private one as well. Um, so it's specific situations where the problem comes up. Um, and it's, it's a complex game, it's a large world, it's a lot of different features. So it's hard to always pinpoint exactly where the issues come from. So that's what we're doing now and trying to, to optimize it and fix it a bit. Um, so yeah, I understand so. that when you have a final release of a game, let's say you will just have four weeks, eight weeks, just before the release, where it's just pure optimization. Yeah, you basically have a freeze and you don't put any new content or features in. Uh, and you use the time to polish and to optimize and to bug fix. Um, but that's traditionally done at the end of... And we did a bit of beforehand, of course, um, but we also still included new content, new features, pretty much right up to the end. Mm -hmm. um, so there will be unexpected problems. Now. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much for the explanation. Sure. <laughs> Can you uh, explain uh, to me and our friends out there uh, what problem you are currently working on? I'm currently looking at the navigation issues that we have. It's not issues with the navigation itself, it's more the optimization of the navigation system. So, so what does this mean, navigation? So navigation is what helps, um, what enables the NPCs to move around in the world without mm -hmm. bumping into stuff, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why cause this, uh, this some uh, performance uh, problems? Um, we think it's because um, sometimes, so the navigation system uses this thing called a nav mesh, mm -hmm. and this nav mesh is generated in real time and we think it's generating too much of it, basically. Okay. And so, yeah, we're trying to make it so it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't so it only, uh, um, it only uh, calculates what is actually needed. Yeah, what's relevant, yeah. yeah. Okay, here on the screen you can see a nav mesh. So it's this green thing here, and you can see that um, uh, there's not a green area here and not a green area here because we don't want the NPCs to go through these two objects. Mm -hmm. um, this green one is actually for smaller NPCs and I can layer over the pink, the pink one here is for the bigger NPCs, so like the crusher. And you can see that it, it won't be able to go through this area because the nav mesh is cut off here. Um, so that's kind of what a nav mesh is and what it looks like. And um, yeah, we've been implementing some code that that makes it so this is only calculated where we need it to be calculated. So, for example, the, um, the problem with rotating around, where we could rotate the camera around and it was slowing the game down, was partly because of this, because we were loading in bits of the massive level um, that we want to be able to see, but that we don't necessarily need the, the monsters to be able to navigate in. And so, yeah, we just made, sh made sure that the nav mesh was relevant where we were calculating it. And yeah, that's what we've been working on. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ian. Hi, Artie. Uh, hey. Um, would you mind explaining me uh, just uh, in just a few words uh, a little bit uh, um, how um, the graphics uh, um, impact the performance of a game. Oh, well, so let's say we will place a rock. Yeah, uh, okay, so um, a rock, for example, is um, as a shader, basically, which defines how does it react to the lighting. Mm -hmm. So uh, it doesn't react the same than metal, for example, or, or stone or different stuff like that. So first it has a shader, which defines uh, how does it react to lighting. Um, this shader only uh, sets uh, the rules of lighting. Then it, yeah, it needs textures, uh, basically, which says, okay, um, these sets of textures define the color and uh, other kind of stuff. But yeah, each object, each rock has a set of textures. So um, this already might be a, um, a problem in terms of performances because these textures uh, rely on the size, for example, in terms of pixels. Mm -hmm. And this is basically what is sent to the graphic card. So if you send to the graphic cards a 
tons of uh, 4K textures? She will say no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with that. Okay. So yeah, uh, that might already be a problem, the size of textures. Um, but other uh, things uh, occurs, and it's not only related to the shader of or even the textures. Uh, let's say the lightning, for example, because we have an open world game and we have shadows and we have a dynamic light system. So this is also something which is to take into account. Uh, we use a specific kind of lightning, so uh, it might also uh, be a problem. Yeah. So we have also to check that. So everything we place in the game world, in a scene, has an impact uh, on Everything, how much yeah. has to be calculated in the uh, in the graphic card. Yeah, and uh, therefore, if uh, let's say we find out, okay, we place I don't know too much too much rocks mm -hmm. in the scene. Um, how do we solve this then if we find out there is a performance problem with that? It depends. We have to see. Uh, we are still using uh, sort of a library of shaders which are supposed <coughs> to uh, share some functions um, for a similar assets. So our rocks, for example, are only using one shader and several assets are sharing the same shader, in fact. So we already have some tools in place to, uh, to, um, to avoid having performances issues. But still, usually, uh, if we place too much objects to a single uh, location, we might have also other problems due to the streaming performances, or still the GPU performances. So usually, yeah, we have to be very cautious to which object we place, where we place it, and how is it handled by the system. It's been a tough week. Finally, we have a new patch out. The previous fixes, they are available for everyone now, and the new fixes are on the experimental branch. Please uh, let us know how it works for you. Also feel free to follow us uh, on Steam, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. See, See you. you.